Welcome to the recap of Miss Grand International 2021 preliminaries. Thank you for clicking on this episode. My name is Danny Walker. If you enjoy content like this, I hope that you will consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notifications bell so that you'll be notified when new episodes like this one come out. Today's episode is brought to you by Rehearsed to Relatable. If you want to learn how to create your own personal and unique brand for the interview competition, then just click the description below to learn more. Do me a favor and stick around till the end because I have a couple of surprise guests that I'd like to introduce you to. This was very difficult for me because these ladies understood the assignment. Yes, they did. And I felt like so many of them delivered Miss Grand International performances. Because if you really follow pageantry, you'll see that there are differences in the performance between Grand versus Universe versus Miss USA, right? So they're all different. And these ladies really understood the assignment. So I am going to share with you my top 20 for swim, my top 20 for gown. And then I'm also going to share with you all the contestants that for me were right on that edge that I think that if they have a great interview, they could easily bump somebody else out of a top 20 spot. But if I were scoring the competition, these are the contestants that got my attention. Beginning with the gown competition. Ecuador and this gown. It just made me think I love so many of these gowns. These are absolutely incredible. Personally, I could do with a little bit less hip movement from this performance, but it is grand. So I'm like, okay, I still think that she did a really great job. And I think though, with the timing of the camera, she did miss that moment for a perfect final look, but regardless, still great. Japan for me, it's not surprising that I put her on this list. If you guys saw my favorites for the other swimsuit competition that they did. So I, I loved this. She did a phenomenal job. Belgium, her body in that gown immediately captures your attention right at the beginning when she does her introduction. Oh my gosh, great performance. I would change the hair though if she is going to stay in this gown for finals. Brazil, I love. So this gown looks like a red version of the one that Miss Spain Universe, Sophia, who I just hung out with in Miami. If you guys want to see that vlog, go check it out up here. So it looks like the gown that she wore to Miss Universe 2017. This is very, very beautiful. I love the eye contact in this performance and that final pose. Just, it was everything. I want to talk about Guatemala because I felt like her gown was so different from everybody else's. It had a very unique vibe to it. I'm pretty positive it's Sherry Hill. And if it's not, I have seen some other similar Sherry Hills. It was different. It was unique, but she carried it so well. So for that, it was one of my favorites. Cambodia. These waist cinching gowns are incredible. Where do I find one? I loved this performance. I thought that that twirl that she did after she removed her skirt was so beautiful. I didn't think she needed the second one, the thing that she did where she threw the skirt. Indonesia. I can see why they put this gown on her. It looked incredible on her shape. I think that this walk was beautiful. I loved it. I think it would have done extremely well in universe, but I feel like it's a little bit safe for grand. So I think she's going to need something a little bit extra for finals, but she did have a strong final pose. I would though change this gown for finals because I thought it was a little bit dark overall on her. Panama had a really strong performance. I cannot believe that she's only 20 years old. This was a very sexy look for her, but I think that she pulled it off without being over the top. It was such a nice balance and just very confident. Colombia, this gown on her, oh, perfection perfection. I thought that the turn was interesting to add, but this is Miss Grand International, so you're going to see things like that. But the final two poses, wow. I need new adjectives. I know. I want to talk about Hong Kong. She kills me. You guys go watch her during the national costume contest. She has so much personality. I hope that it really transfers well in the interview competition, because if so, I can see her advancing to a semifinal with this gown performance. Dominican Republic, I do not know how she was able to walk in that gown. It looked very difficult, but this color, these color combinations were perfect on her. And the performance, the facials, yes, she has it all. Laos was a great surprise for me. Also, I love the details of how this cape was attached in the back of the gown. This was beautiful. This gown was such a great choice for her and I think it really enhanced her performance. 
Philippines. Okay, they did not come to play and really pulled out the surprises. First of all, that gown, incredibly unique. Right off the bat, you see it, it's gonna catch your attention. But then the reveal of the cape coming down, in addition to the performance, honestly, I didn't expect it, but it doesn't surprise me because it's the Philippines and I loved it. it. It was well done. It was a moment. Cuba was glowing, glowing. We just saw another two-piece gown place at Miss USA, so it's interesting to see it here at Miss Grand International as well. I really like the details on the arm with the cascading stones or, or beading, whatever it was, but this performance, this is what confidence looks like. Vietnam, I did think she was a little bit fast for my personal taste during gown, but this was a great gown style on her. She is so, so pretty and I love her smile. That is her strength. Myanmar, such a perfect fit of gown on her. Wonderful, great performance. I think she's such a facially beautiful contestant and she really nailed her final poses. Peru was really fun to watch for gown because she added a little wink during her walk. She was just really giving me grand vibes and she had a unique final pose as well, which is something that you see in grand. Mexico was incredible during her walk. Talk about grace and poise and just gliding across the stage. And that final turn that she did was so smooth. It really impressed me. Puerto Rico, beautiful classic everything was well timed during this performance the eye contact the every single thing i don't think could have been done better for this competition somehow i missed costa rica in my recording but i love this performance she was so effortless i'm obsessed with her smile and how easy she makes it look She's someone I can see in my top five. As I mentioned in the beginning, I do want to acknowledge a few contestants that are right on the edge for me that I think if I were on a panel, anybody else's score could easily nudge them into a top 20 or out of a top 20. So I just want to give them a mention because I think it's worth noting. I also was paying attention to Bangladesh, Bolivia, El Salvador, Germany, India, Mauritius, Nigeria, Venezuela, Honduras, Pakistan, South Africa, Spain, and Thailand for gowns. Be sure to comment below who you are rooting for this year for Miss Grand International. Who do you love and who do you think is gonna take home that Grand International crown? Let's talk about swim. And the first thing we have to mention is Armenia. I think that she was having such a great performance and her shoe completely broke. The entire platform broke off of it. And I wanna mention this because I think she handled it so well. And honestly, still one of my favorite performances. I think that she did such a great job and I think it's something to learn from and she recovered from it so well. Dominican Republic, this opening was so strong and you could really tell that these ladies are fighting for this crown. This was perfection. Could she be in the top five? I'm not surprised. Vietnam, I love her. I feel like she has such a genuine smile on stage. It's her strength, it's working. And at the end though, the facial transition that she threw in there was so perfectly timed. Well done. Costa Rica, this queen knows how to work it. This is an example of a very skilled performance. Here's a contestant I can also see in the top five. Germany is somebody I mentioned in my swimsuit competition favorite. She's really impressing me. If she has a great interview, guys, I can see her moving on to semifinals. Brazil, immediately strong. It's She wasn't a contestant where you have to wait to figure out, mm, do I like this performance? No, I knew right away, instantly, that I love her. I, I can see her in that top five. Hong Kong, I, I have to keep mentioning her guys because she's so fun and I just, I love that you can see that she's really enjoying herself and she had a great spin turn. Venezuela, friends, what a powerful walk and connection that she had with the camera. Also, she has beautiful eyes, so that really doesn't hurt. Indonesia, let's also mention that she's only 19 years old. She is holding her own. I am just blown away by this performance from her because this is what I was expecting from her. There's been a lot of hype regarding her and she lives up to it right here. Cuba, I love this queen. This is so fun. She brings incredible energy to the stage and that spin turn again, 
she knows how to work it. Japan had another strong opening. She also has been having so much fun during these performances. You can see how present she is. There's definitely something to learn from Japan by watching this. Cambodia was so fun, also giving me very grand vibes, and I like her little flamingo leg thing that she did at the end. It was a fun touch. Panama is only 20 and bringing this type of performance. You can tell that she has been putting in work for this walk and it is paying off. Myanmar is so pretty. I don't understand the red heels that she's wearing in this, but I did love her final turn. Philippines, I've talked about this, you guys. I do love her face on stage so much. I just think she's gorgeous. The opening of this performance was a little bit wobbly, but I'm not super worried about that because it was in the back of the stage. The judges might not really have noticed that, but the posing was great as well as the spin turn and the little moves that she added in. Colombia. Wow, this walk, the bounce in the hair, she's only 23. Can we still send her to universe later if this doesn't work out? Puerto Rico, I could not believe that we saw her pull her swimsuit during the beginning of this performance. Okay, let's, let's not talk about it too much, but ladies, please do not do this on stage. Fortunately though, she does have an incredible walk and performance to more than make up for doing that on stage. But ladies, please just adjust swimsuits before you walk on. Ecuador did this little hair flip in there where she moves the hair. It was great, it was lovely. I felt like her routine was a little bit less precise than some others that I saw. So if we're splitting hairs, that is something to mention because I just feel like this is such a difficult competition this year. And who knows how the judges would interpret this performance, although I still really enjoyed it. South Africa, wow. She deserves a placement for this performance, in my opinion. The gown, however, does worry me. I'm very surprised that she went with a very simple gown for Grand because at Grand, the gowns are elaborate. They're usually covered in crystals and stones and they're, they're just so unique. And so I personally felt like she needed a different gown and I think that that might hinder her from making a semi-final placement. Peru, great opening and walk and performance, very lively, very fun to watch. Thailand, First of all, this hairstyle on her for this competition was beautiful, the way that it moved, and this performance was killer. It was probably up there in my top five swimsuit performances. I thought it was right on. For swim, the contestants that were on my edge were Canada, Italy, that was really great to watch, Laos, Mauritius, Mexico, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Spain, Guatemala, India, Belgium, and USA. Honestly, the energy that USA brought for this performance is exactly what I expected of her. I was like, yes, that's why you won your national competition. I just felt like we made a misstep with the gown. Get lower. As promised, I brought you guys a surprise. Look <laughs> who it is. Hi everyone! <laughs> Arizona 2018. Maine 2018. I flew all the way here just for this. Mm -hmm. Cheese pizza. <laughs> I'm very excited. Obviously Arizona has the Cheers. best. Cheers. Cheers. Yay. Happy birthday! It's Thank your birthday. birthday! Well it was. It was my birthday like almost a month ago but it's birthday fine. Week, we had to delay it because month. of work. Work. It happens but yeah. we're here. We're making up. We're celebrating. Yeah. It's gonna be so much fun. Guys we're actually gonna vlog this too so. Mm -hmm. Tune in for wait. the vlog. Yeah. Subscribe for the vlog. Bye. Those are my favorites for this competition. Let me know who your favorites are. Let's be really kind and supportive of all the contestants and be really encouraging. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you'll come back for lots more.